Hey guys and welcome to my channel. So today I'm just gonna be doing a short tutorial on how to make your IP camera work as a virtual webcam. So you can use it in programs. So you can use it in programs like Zoom, Microsoft Teams, uh, Skype, etc. So the camera that I'm gonna be using today is called a V380 wireless HD IP security camera. Now this camera uses an RTSP stream instead of an HTTP stream which means that you cannot uh, you cannot view it in a browser you have to install like specific software to view it. So the reason I'm saying this is because some people have these type of cameras which output in RTSP and this means that you cannot use most apps to simulate a virtual webcam with them. Now if you have a HTTP camera this uh, this method will always all also work. So first of all, if you have an RTSP camera, you want to download its software. So right now I have its software called V380. What you want to do is connect to it. Just right click. You, have to, you have to go through a setup first on your phone and then you can connect to it on your PC. I'm just going to play it right now so you can see. I just uh, made a little, yeah, okay. Just made a little test sequence right there. So the camera moves and it works. And yeah, that's all fine. So right now you can only view it inside the app. So that's the problem right here. Like you, you can only view it inside the app. You cannot do anything else with it. So the what you want to do is figure out what the, what the RTSP IP or the RTSP address of that specific camera is. For, so for this, you need another program called OnWiff Device Manager. Let's wait for it to load. Okay. It's here. So this link I'll put in the description. You can just go ahead and download this. It's a free open source software, and it's it's used to manage all your webcams and stuff. And this can be used to extract the IP of the RTSP of the RT of the RTSP camera, which is normally hidden. Now, if it does not come up on this software, you can also refer to your camera's manual. It will be there sometimes. But my camera did not come with a manual for some reason, so I have to use this program. So I have already download, uh, downloaded and installed it. So I'm just gonna run it to show you guys how to use it. And now let me just find it. Okay. Yes. So after you open that, you will have an a page like this. So what you want to do is, if if your camera has an IP like authentication, which means like password and a password and a username you have to factory reset it because if you if it has a, if a username and a password you can't connect to it properly so what you want to do is connect to the same I, um, router which your camera is currently connected to it so my camera is currently connected to this wi-fi network called nokia link so i'm just going to double click and connect to it to finish connecting and it's connected so after it's connected what uh, you want to click refresh right here and it, your camera should show up here yep there it is just click on live video and see this random string of characters down here that's your rtsp ip now if you have the same camera as me which is a v380 the ip will be rtsp colon double, uh, two forward slashes your ip uh, uh, two forward slashes live one forward slash ch00 underscore one now um you can find your ip using the command prompt and by just by typing ip config into it so just copy this IP right here and you can close the app right now. Just save this IP somewhere safe. I'm just gonna save it right here. Paste. That should be good. Okay. Okay, so after that you want to uh, install an app which can actually simulate the virtual webcam over a network stream. So you have a couple of options. So I tried using vMix and Manicam. Both of these support R um, RTSP streams. But I don't, uh, we, we mix the, does not seem to support HTTP stream, so you have to use Manicam for the HTTP streams. Now the problem is that both of these programs are paid software, which means you have to pay for it. But vMix has a 60 day trial which you can just sign up for free with your email address. And after the 60 day trial you can still use the program, the only downside will be that you will be locked to a lower resolution. This means you can't stream at full 1080p. While Manicam is a completely paid software, so you will have to pay for it. And, um, now if you guys want I can make a tutorial on how to uh, get Manicam Pro version for free so just leave it in the comments and I'll show you guys how to do it so today I'm going to be using vMix for RTSP streams and I also I find that vMix handles RTSP better than Manicam so if you have an RTSP camera just stick with vMix I'm just going to launch it right now 
Let's wait for it to load. You can download it from the remix site right here. Just click download right here. Just download remix from here. I'll put the link in the description. So actually, the remix trial has started. So now we'll. Um, you have this weird looking program on your screen right now. Just don't be scared by all of these buttons and sliders everywhere. The only thing you have to be worried about is this small button called add input here. Just click on that. And then go down to stream. And then choose RTSP over TCP. This is important. Choose RTSP over TCP. And for the URL just paste the same URL which you copied earlier. Just copy that. Okay. And just paste it in there. Okay. Now the stream range, if you have a good PC, just set it to as low as you can. So I'm just going to set it to 10 milliseconds. Now you can try using low latency mode to improve performance, but uh, my camera does not seem to work with low latency mode. So I'm just going to disable it. Just click OK. Oops, I think I launched it twice. Sorry about that. Let's do this again. OK. Just wait for it to connect, and there it is. It connected, and you can see it's displaying my little test program. And I think that the camera tilted a little bit. That, that's okay. So after this, what you want to do is cl go on to cl click on this setting right here, external output settings. Just wait for it to come up, and then um, uncheck both of these and choose uh, your webcam settings right in these bo in these options. So right now it's my default settings are pretty are okay for my webcam so i'm just gonna use them just gonna lock it back if your if your frame frame rate or your resolution is different just make sure to change it in here uh, your webcam manual should have this option listed in it after that all you want to do is click this big external button right here and it will turn red which means that it is outputting the virtual webcam so in order to prove that it works i'm gonna launch a virtual conferencing program for like zoom for example I'm gonna wait for it to look connect okay I'm gonna create a new meeting guys sorry for the disturbance by the way it's raining right here yep we'll go into my set <coughs> settings go into video and then there it is there's the IP webcam it's outputting through the vmix video just choose vmix video in this list right here just gonna enable video and you can see it in the application now you can also do a lot of cool things with the software like you can change like a lot of settings with input like you can sharpen the image, mirror it uh, interlace, blend it, whatever that is you can adjust the color of it, make it red, make it green, make it blue, whatever Can even, you can even add color grading to it, like how cool is that? Just gonna reset everything for now. And guys, that's about it. So if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe and comment down below if you have any questions. Bye!